All right, turn 24, December 30th, 41. Let's continue the beating on, on Rob. I'm going to pick the dot base. And we'll try this again, and we'll probably miss them also. I'm not holding anything. I'm not hoping any, for any anything here because we all know we're gonna. If we're, we'll shoot some, we'll miss a bunch of shots, and then we'll disengage. Yep, ten thousand yards. We'll shoot a couple shots. Probably go to like fourteen. Yep, see? What a surprise. A little bit of overcast, nice moon, nothing. Why is this guy still here? Oh no, he's unloading, that's why. We're unloading a bunch of supplies. Is this guy out of torpedoes yet? He's launched six so far. Four last turn, two this turn. All right, day phase. Ooh, get him, get him. Nope. Bunch of fake reports. Bad weather. Oh, there's a there's a good strike. A lot of fighters there.
All right, that's the morning air phase. Roll on into the afternoon. That's lie, 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 lie. There we go. Bad weather, of course. Alrighty. That's air phase. We'll do second move, naval movement, and any fights there. Then we'll roll into the land phase. Be land movement and then combat. Here we go. That should be. Uh, I don't know. Might be. It might be an easy fight for us. Alright, one to one, we lost 500, all wounded, he lost 500, all wounded. Oh, the one, the, uh, one unit's gone. wonder if he, uh, dispersed or whatever. And this guy, I think, just, just, probably just died. Yep. Where? I mean, if he had the other one, where would it couldn't have moved anywhere? Well, it could have moved south, I guess, maybe east. Ah, uh, we'll check him maybe during the after action. All right, he's running farther south. No surprise. We'll run all the way down to that dot base where we'll catch him and kill him. Oh, he did come charging in at me. Wow, he did more damage to me than I thought he would have. Alrighty, we're gonna expand some bases, then we'll run through production. When that's done, we'll pause the video, grab some saves, grab some data, come back and go through the after action reports. Alrighty, another decent turn for the Japanese Empire here. We went up 65 points. The Allied scum went up 5 points. In the air, the Allies lost nothing. We lost 6 ops. Yeah, that, these long-range attacks are killing us. We have, we, have, we have to stop them. 2 Sallies, 1 Topsies, 1 Lily, 1 and 1 Nell. Actually, only the Nell is probably near you know long range. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe the Sallies. Depends on where they're coming from. But, so we lost six aircraft. Only one pilot. Okay, that's not bad at all. I think, I want to see, the, we'll, we'll say when this guy's supposed to be back. No. Ah. Get back here. How do you tell when they're supposed to be back? Isn't there a way? I thought there was a way you could look at the air. I might have to look, maybe, maybe look that pilot up. That's a lot of effort. I'll, I'll, I'll try to figure it out offline and let then let, let, show you guys next time. So, not no real air units for quite a while. I don't believe we have anything on the, on the sea for anything a while. One day for an AK, four days to a destroyer, then more merchants, 15 days, yep. And then ground, we just got all those units at this turn. So, base force in three, the rest of that na naval guard in four. 10 days, we get some port units. 15 days out, which should be January 15th. It's going to be a big day for us. We get a parachute regiment, some AA, two naval guards, some marine coys, a special base force, and a naval pioneer battalion. What is... Oh, that's one of these new units, I think, from the mod. 16 engineers, 8 vehicles. Wow. Some marines... 
All right, that's a good construction unit. All right. For engines and aircraft, let's take a look. 26, 33, 36, 40 engines. Four Oscars, four zeros. I like those numbers. Two nails, two valves, two Kates. One of everything else. And devices, we spent some armament points and some manpower, so we, we built something. 188 support. Uh, we built all those base forces. That's what it is. 83 nav support. 78 marines. Some AV, some engineers. Some AA and artillery. Some more marines. Yeah, some 82 mil 81 millimeter mortars. Construction squads. Yep. Okay. All good. All, all good points spent. Let's go ahead and pull up combat reporter. At sea, near off the coast of Saigon, we found an allied sub, the Dutch one. We didn't didn't really get any attacks on it, but we did spot it, so it makes them way less way less e way less efficient. Down by Rabal, off the coast there, another allied sub was found. We spotted it. It fled. We didn't get no attacks, but once again, it we spotted it, so it was useless this turn. Off the coast of Pakoi, our cruiser friend and the Motor torpedo boats all found each other again, and as expected, nothing was done. And at Kaviang, the trout fired two more torpedoes at the patrol boat here on unloading supplies, and they missed. So that's six torpedoes he's, he shot at this boat and has missed. Well, five have missed, one hit, but it was a dud, so might as well. On the ground... And near Kaviang, we attacked that fleeing unit by uh, Koi there, beat it up some more, and fled farther south. Near Taiping, Te south of it, we attacked that Gurkha unit there. There was a second one here, so I don't, it must have been destroyed at the end of the last turn from, like, you know, a, um, attrition. <clears throat> we didn't see it, but there's only one unit there, so it was destroyed, so the rail is now ours. Near Hong Kong, that Chinese Corps crossed the river and shock attacked into my division waiting. We took a lot more losses than I than I than I thought we, we, we would have, but we did inflict almost double the casualties on the Chinese unit. Now it's in our terrain, we we can maul it. And up here near Hankow, we attacked a bunch of Chinese units, our one Chinese unit on, on the open ground here. We got one to one odds. Pretty even. We lost pretty, pretty much even, 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 lo even losses there, but we will continue to pound on it. Amphibious wise, we landed at one of the uh, one of the islands in the Philippines. We will grab that next turn. Air, nothing really here. We bombed him. He bombed us. No real air to air missions. I was surprised that uh, this Sally group was targeted at a unit that was destroyed last turn. And I didn't move it, so. It, Picked a new target and bombed Singapore. And did not run into any fighters. I was kind of surprised by that. But maybe that's good Maybe that's good news. Signal intelligence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Heavy volume at Pearl? No way. I think they're going to attack us, guys. Ops report. Unknown. Loading resources. Supplies to Lashio. Resources. M3 takes uh, devices. I upgrade a clerk. Float plane has enlarged. Four more signs in the pool. Six in the pipeline. The 34th Division takes replacements. Alright. We repaired two PBs, which are most likely not repairs, but uh, uh, con uh, conversions. Let's see. Intel. We built an airfield at, si at Saipan. And we got an artillery unit in Manchuria, some Marines at Kwajalein, another piece of the Naval Guard at Saipan, then a special base force at Takeo, and then these smaller odd base forces at Wache, Kwajalein, Jalut, and Malo Elap. Malo Elap. Usually I pick these bases, base forces off these, off these islands and put them somewhere useful, like, like down in the Solomons and that. Just on the marshals. Marshals just rocks, hunks of rock in the ocean. They, none of them can be built high enough to really offer any kind of defense. You can't put enough air, aircraft there. You can't put enough anything there. 
Um, they're pretty easy targets for the allies. That's usually the first bases that I lose. But once he takes those, there's really nowhere to go other than Truck or the Mar Marianas. And that's a big leap to either of those. You need carriers, and to hit the Marianas leaves you exposed to everything in the south, like, you know, the naval base at, at Truck and all the planes there. And to do this, then to attack Truck, it leads the same thing to you from, from, the, Mar from the Marianas. So usually they take the marshals and then they kind of stop there until they come up through the Solomons. So that's Combat Reporter. Let's go ahead and close that up. Hop back over here. Look at the map here. Okay. Another unit arrived at Molmeen. Uh, artillery unit. Oh, he's low on supplies. How are these guys feeling today? All right, they're doing better. All right. We still got a bunch of units coming up. He bombed my... Um, was it where was it here he bombed the Thai divisions moving up here not a big deal Could bomb that one all day long if, if, if he wants two more days before this unit moves into the hex let's see this guy's still I'll oh, flip him why not all right a couple more days before these guys all arrive in in, in Momin. I think I might wait to attack here until this guy up here gets in gets into position. So it might be like five or six more uh, days. By then we'll probably get some more of these guys up there. This guy going west is two thirds of the way there. Let's see, he's moving to cut off the rail. Not a, not a surprise. To be honest, though, I'm not really using this rail at all. I mean, he could probably come over here and take this base, steal some fuel, but. I'll probably send a unit over here just 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 to, just to be safe. Okay, dropping off more troops at at at, uh, at Singara. More more troops coming in here. We cleared the rail here. You know, this is only two guys still. So that third unit, the second unit that was here, was some some, some sort of headquarters unit, must have dis, dis, uh, disbanded, um, fell to attrition, whatever. It just wiped itself out. So the rail is wide open, which means all these troops here that are sitting on the, on the rail, as you can see, there's a bunch of them, can all head south. Um, while the rest of my guys, we need to come in here and take care of these guys and get up into Temulo, take care of these guys while preparing to go march to Singapore. It's about time to probably start swi swi switching all the targets to Singapore so we get some of that bonus when, when we cross over there and attack. Sumatra is nothing going on there. Java is nothing. Borneo, we're still the same. We're marching over to uh, Bayafort with this guy. Um, Indochina, Thailand is pretty much moving troops and supplying some troops and fuel and supplies over to Malaya while shoving everything else up into Burma. Luzon, I gave the guys pretty much a day off. So let's see what well, how much work how much. Uh, did not as much as I hoped, but it did lower them. How about repairing this guy? What's the repair? Not much repair. What the heck? But we're probably going to either head out this turn or next turn. I'll leave some guys here, and the rest will march to Manila. These guys are already en route to, to, to Manila. We're dropping off the rest of a regiment here that was left behind. We'll, we'll attack here. Let's go ahead and do that now. We'll pick him off and go so over here somewhere, most likely. Nothing going on in Mindanao or down here, really. Dropping off the last of that base force and some, some, some supplies. Chasing this unit down some more. That's the fun part. You have to chase it all the way down and let you land down here as well. And Chicks of one half dozen the other, so it doesn't really matter. I don't have a whole lot for this guy to do, do so he might as well chase these guys all the way down here and then and then capture this stop base. Let's see, all right, he's unloaded. We got some supply, not much fuel, but we have some of that on on its way. Have we been spotted in the south here? No, we have not. So we will pop that and we will take. Let's see, one, two, three. We'll take the one farther farther south. Got resources heading back to truck. 
a bunch of ships heading up there, and we're unloading, unloading another base force here to get ready to head farther south. Then up here, let's take a look at our picket line. Haven't done that for a little bit. Heavy cloud, heavy cloud, thunderstorms, severe storms, heavy cloud. We got a, we got a, we got a, a three of a kind. All right, hauling some uh, resources and oil. Resources here. We've landed at. We got our task force to Port Arthur. We'll load up a bunch of resources over into China. Our men are moving. We're what are we? Maybe one day from getting another division into into Chushan, Chushian, and that should be enough to, to take it. We almost took it with just one. We have arrived here at Sietzo. Don't know if that if that's gonna be enough to if that brigade's gonna be enough to take him or not. Let's see. What else we got here? There's the other attack we had. I'll probably let these guys sit here a turn to get some more some more supplies. China is always low on supplies, at least at the beginning for Japan. Looks like he has. I'm, I'm guessing those are probably the AVG. So I want to rearrange all my uh, airstrikes so we don't fall into a cap trap again. There's that base unit base. There's that core right there. We're definitely gonna do a deliberate attack here and crush it try to make it flee back across the river and then if it does and we crush it pretty good we might just 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 go up there and chase it there's those mtbs all right dropping some more uh base forces off here and that's pretty much the turn if you enjoyed watching it with me please go ahead and click on the like button if you're following along the campaign and you have not subscribed what are you waiting for i would appreciate it if you press that button as well until we get another turn, you guys all have yourself a great day, and I'll see you later.